Did you kill it? Let's see, you want to say anything new to Clem? No. Is everything okay? Mm-hmm. I'll go that way. Yeah. Try and go around then. Let's go. Hey, Carly. Let's go. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Save Glenn and get back here. before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> okay then. Time to be a bit methodical. That could be useful. Fire axe. You look like you're not really dead. One, two, three, four, okay. five. This is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Oh man. She's eating something. So we got that one right there, close. There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Alright, let's go over there. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. Screwdriver. Pillow on the window. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. I have one. Use the pillow on the window. What are you gonna do with oh, that? Oh come on! Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Alright then. Uh... Get out your gun. But the noise! Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick! No noise, good, good. Door. Uh, gear shift. Is it moving? No, handbrake. Fuse. It's a spark thing. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. Could come in handy. It was 
awesome. <laughs> All right, so is she down? Can I break it with this? Wait. Let me see the spark plug. Why? The force inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Kind of worked out. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Okay. Alright, let's go over there then, see if I can scramble his brain. It's time to scramble. Oh, oh. Good, good. That's it, here we come. A little bit closer, a little bit closer. Hello, so there's a few more than I counted. It's one, two, three, four, so there's six total. Hey, buddy. Quiet now, quiet now. All right, let me just scramble you a minute. Okay. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. Nice. It's cool. Now we've got this. Yes, we Are do. You two done? Right, I did a bit of banter. Lighten the mood a bit. You've got a gun. Come Ooh. on. That should help. Sneak up the stairs. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. We'll be right behind you. That's that's kind of the opposite of what I just asked. I said you stay behind, and you said okay, we'll be right behind you, ready to get in the way. Okay. Quietly now. Peekaboo. Back up, back up, back up. Look up, back up, look up. Headless chicken. There we go. Hello. You alive in there? We should probably just not go. Hello there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. Miss, we're coming in. This is probably not a good idea. Stop, just stop. I'm coming out. What's up? Hello. I hurt. Oh god. I I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late. That. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? When? I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. Uh, what if you turn and follow us back to our group? I know that was why I was locked away. I can't let this happen to me. You're a bit crazy. You have a gun, so can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Please, 
I don't want to be one of them. They're they're satanic. Give it, Give to, it her. to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No. And shoot her. Shoot her. Huh? I've seen what hell is like, and it's coming back as one of those things. Shoot her. Help her out here. You're insane. Just take this thing. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? The gun? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. God bless you. God bless you. All right. God bless you too. Pizza delivery car. Interesting. Okay, that's good. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. All right, then. I think the next order of business is to take a look outside. You okay? Anything happen while we were gone? How's your finger? How's your finger, Clem? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. You okay? I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy? Oh, no. You know. <laughs> we're gonna try to Take care of each other. Yes. Deal. Good. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. Alright. Glenn, how are things looking? How you doing, Glenn? You know. Back to the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. But that's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good. Good, man. Good. You let her do it, you know. You said give her the gun. I know I did. Why the hell would you do that? Mercy. Mercy, man. I couldn't let her go on like that. We couldn't. You never know. You can't give up hope. I think it was over for her, Glenn. What's, What's your story? story Glenn? I deliver pizzas around here. I brought a couple to the Everts a few times. Sorry. I mean, the folks that own this place. Just really good people. Suck seeing this place like this. Isn't that the truth? Next move? What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I. I. Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Try to get some rest. Huh. <laughs> yeah, right. Alright. Uh... Let's go take a look outside. Should probably talk to Carly. There we go. Hey there. Sorry. Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio. That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding and I hit the blogosphere. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? 
Those creeps or, or ghouls or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. All right, let's talk to Doug and try and get out of here. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? Yes. <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Let's have a look around. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. That's not nice looking. They just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all of this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. Half a century, maybe? Can't reach that brick. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Break the lock. That. Can't reach that brick. Why not? <laughs> Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, that's all I know. Now I can reach the brick. Smash that window. Vandalism. Nice. Mm hmm. I got an idea. And the question is. How do we turn the TV's on? Did I miss something in the side? Maybe there's a TV remote somewhere. Back inside. Back inside. Okay. I'm thinking I missed something. 